What would you do right now if you had no fear and you had about five minutes to do it and you wouldn't get in trouble for it? What would you do? i get a beer. <laughs> I get a beer. Uh, who knows? Who knows? I'd probably run around the place naked. I don't know. <laughs> What is going on my friends and family? This is LAX News brought to you by Lexacy and I'm so glad to see you guys back on this episode. That means you like what you've seen so we're going to bring more of it. Let's go ahead and hove off to our first story. Have you ever felt like you're having such an amazing day that luck is just on your side and you should go buy a lottery ticket? Well this guy definitely did. You, sir, need to go and buy 10 scratch-off tickets and go play the lottery right now as well as go straight to the casino because this type of luck, I gotta admit, man, this type of situations will turn a tough man into a crying little boy. Watch this video one more time and notice how extreme this situation really was. First of all, he was driving in the snow. That means you got no control whatsoever over the situation. You're basically a little bowling ball just rolling right down the road and there's nothing you can do about it. Once you let loose, you're gone. Secondly, there's four grown massive moves in front of you and they're basically the bowling pins but in this case you have to avoid them now let me tell you a little bit more about the moose because where i came from they were all over the place and they were basically our neighbors wherever we went a moose can weigh up to 1500 pounds that's a thousand five hundred pounds which is just a tad bit more than how much i weigh and his height can reach over seven freaking feet tall that is a walking gigantor compared to a normal human being. Okay, okay, I, 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 might have, I might have exaggerated a little bit, but that's close to the truth. So now put four giant mammals on the snowy road that you're supposed to somehow miraculously avoid, and I'm pretty sure this is exactly what was going through his head because this is what I would be doing in this situation. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> All right, folks, moving on to the next topic. Raise your hand if you're married or you're in a relationship with someone else. That does not include your teddy bear, your hand, a blow-up doll, or a fake imaginary friend or boyfriend, girlfriend that you have. Happily married. Ever felt like your other half pushed that last button so many times that you're just, you blow up? No. That's exactly what happened to this guy. Alright, seems fun and all, but let me take you two hours back before this video was recorded. Turn down that music and go plow some snow outside. Stop playing with the fire and go plow the snow outside. Stop watching your stupid Star Wars and go plow some snow outside. That's it. See, everyone sees this video and they think he's just so hilarious and funny and he's having the time of his life. But in reality, he's letting off loose so much steam that there's literally fire coming out of the bagpipes. He literally looks like a fire-breathing dragon on a unicycle in the kill. Alright guys, moving on to the next story. and uh, Just gotta say, this one really hits close to home and uh, it really gets me riled up. Just a... Uh, Roll the clip, I just, I just want to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Would somebody, for the love of the Lord, tell this guy to get a different hobby? And if this that same dude that did this last time... Please stop jumping on people's cars, man. Ain't nobody wants you on their trunk. Ain't nobody appreciates you getting up on their business like that. And if you're just trying to get a free ride to work, man, there's other safer ways to do that. You ain't gotta stand on other people's trunks. This car, look, it's called the carpool lane, or you can stand on the side of the highway with your thumb up and somebody will pick you up, I promise you that. But you don't have to sit on people's trunks to get to work. See, the thing is, I've owned three motorcycles of my own, so I can tell you exactly what this guy was thinking when it happened. Alrighty, we made it. Today we got a little better than uh, usual. Traffic moving on well, pretty good on time. 
Should be ready to roll. Alrighty, folks, let's move on to the next segment called Lex Marks the Spot. My name is Ashton. Alright, Ashton, I got a couple questions I want to ask you. So, what is the best excuse you used to get out of work? I'm actually the boss, so. <laughs> Um, What's the best excuse you've heard? <laughs> oh man, one person had a hair appointment, they were getting their hair dyed, and it took like four extra hours. <laughs> best excuse you've used to get out of work so far? <laughs> My tooth fell out and I was bleeding all over the place. <laughs> you said that? <laughs> yeah. What, who was it to? What, what was the place to you worked at? Uh, I work for corrections. I'm a correction officer oh, for a male prison. And they believed it? Yeah. <laughs> serious? I said, no, I gotta go get this thing taken care of. It can get infected Lost and a lot everything. Of blood. That's crazy. Wow. All right, last time you lied to somebody, and what was that lie? What do you remember lying about? Sure, I lied to my mom. She asked me for some money. I told her I don't have no money, but I had some money, but not for her, though. Is that why you shopping the money you don't yeah. have? <laughs> All right, three things you would take with you in the fire. Like, if it just happened right now, what would you grab with you? My hair. Because I love hair. I wear a lot of wigs, so my hair and my clothes, I try to get all my clothes because I'm a fashionista. And awesome. probably my shoes. My shoes mean That's the most important. to me. That is very important. So I'll probably get burnt in the fire. Try to get all my clothes. Trying stuff. to save all the clothes. I mean, technically, it's solicitation. You're oh, not really? trying to sell anything, though, is, no, you sure. know. No, sure. uh, you plan on doing some more? Two minutes. We just need one more person we're done. That's what I was asking if you want to do it, but I guess. Find you one more part. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, guys. Yep. Have a good one. All right. Three things you would take with you in the fire. Like, what are the three things you would save, like, right off the head, right off the bat? My phone. My phone. Pretty much my phone. <laughs> That's it. Myself. Forget the other two. <laughs> that works. What would you do right now if you had no fear and you had about five minutes to do it and you wouldn't get in trouble for it? What would you do? I'd get a beer. <laughs> yeah, I get a beer. Uh, who knows? Who knows? I'll probably run around the place naked. I don't know. <laughs>